Hey everyone, today we're diving into the brand new Expo Video Library, the upgraded smoother replacement for Expo AV. It works across Android, iOS, and the web, and I'll show you how to set it up, configure it, and build a full video player. By the end, you'll know exactly how to add a video playback to your React Native or Expo app using Expo Video. So grab a coffee, get comfortable, and let's dive right in. So first, I need to install Expo Video to my project, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that and head to my project and open terminal and paste it there. If that didn't work for you, you can run expo init to make sure the required configuration is initialized. All right, now let's dive into the code. Here's a basic example provided by the expo video documentation. I got it straight from here. I'll be sure to leave the link in the description if you want to give it a shot for yourself. So basically this code demonstrates how to load a video, uh, play it, pause it, and even enable full screen and picture and picture support. Let me walk you through what's happening here and let me actually run it real quick just to make sure it works. And uh, we'll go from there once we run it and we'll play around with the code and see what different functionalities and features it supports. So let's see, it looks like it's loading, perfect. And make sure audio is working as well. Okay, nice, all right. So the key part here is the use video player hook, which we pass the video source to. We also define a callback function to configure the player. In this case, we enable looping and start playback automatically. Next, we use the use event hook to listen to player state changes. Specifically, it tracks whether the video is currently playing. This allows us to update the button text dynamically. Finally, we have a simple UI using video view to display the video and button to control playback. Pretty straightforward. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's spice it up a bit. So we can change the button color dynamically based on the whether the video is playing or paused. So we can go ahead and do that right here. So when it's paused, we want it to be red. And then when it's playing, we want it to be green. And that should be it. So then now, when the video is playing, it's red and it's green when it's paused. All right. Okay, I know the last one wasn't that exciting and probably not that useful, but I believe this next one you might find more useful. I'm sure you probably used this already, probably on YouTube or some, but I think it's very important to implement if you are, you know, playing with this. So it's being able to skip a certain amount of time to the video. And I use that on the regular on YouTube, just watching videos and stuff. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. It's very helpful. So it is this current time that allows us to implement this. And you can pick however much time you want to fast forward or, you know, playback, rewind, I guess. So let's go ahead and oh, let's go ahead and save this. Okay, so it looks like it loads. Skip. Nice. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and implement. I did not mean to screenshot that. I'll go ahead and implement the rewind. Basically, it's the same thing. So you're just changing, you know. Oops, I did it again. What's that song? Okay, and then we're just gonna rewind. So we're just gonna say minus 10 seconds. Save that. And of course, change the title too. If I can write. And that's it. And I apologize for this terrible layout, but I, as you can see, I'm not very concerned about that. We can 
we're focused on here the features and what we're able to do with this so let's format that at least okay so let's test that rewind works it looks like 10 seconds all right sweet so that works i hope you find that one more helpful than being able to change his colors but all right let's see what we can play with next all right this next one we're going to play with the video source so instead of providing a url you can give a local path to your video so you can just all you need to do is just add this and provide the path for you to your video and then make sure you call it here and that should be it and this video is coming from my asset folder so yeah this is pretty simple one to implement i could make another video if you guys wanted to see uh how to fetch it from a database instead of just a url or a local file path so if you're interested in that be sure to leave a comment and i will try to do my best to make that video as soon as possible i highly recommend you guys check out the documentation for this as there's a lot of features that i didn't cover in this video so if you are interested definitely check it out there's a lot more useful information on there that's it for this video if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future tutorials if you got questions or ideas for what you'd like to see next drop them in the comments below i'd love to hear your thoughts thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video